I'm in training camp preparing for David Avenisian. Watch it live on BOK Prime pay-per-view. <laughs> yeah, I know y'all was waiting for this one. I know y'all was waiting for this one. But let's stop and take a pause for the aerosexuals. Y'all can take a bow because y'all have went out here and made yourself looks like complete idiots. For days, y'all been coming to my channel. Talk about what you got to say now. Terrence Bud Crawford ducking this. Terrence Bud Crawford ducking that. Now, I just want you to think of all the individuals who preach that narrative. I want you to think of all the videos in their headline when they put Terrence Bud Crawford as ducking. All Terrence Bud Crawford did at the end of the day was open his mouth and left a pie sliding down each and every one of y'all faces. And he exposed y'all for being exactly what y'all are. You guys are either not smart enough to able to follow the situation or you're too biased, corrupt, or naive to tell the truth about the situation. Whichever one you want to pick, it doesn't matter. But this equation was very simple that the most unintelligent person could wrap their head around it. So the fact that people was acting like they couldn't understand what was going on is beside me. I can't provide no excuse or no logical reason why you guys couldn't understand this situation. But you guys tried to put it on Terrence Bud Crawford. It's all Terrence Bud Crawford's fault because he getting this bad, because he getting this money, because he's fighting this guy. This is the reason why we're not getting the fight. Well, the lie detector has came back and they have proven that that is a lie, okay? So, and all it ever took was Terrence Bud Crawford opening his mouth to shut y'all completely down. And keep in mind, if any of y'all got to contest anything that Terrence Bud Crawford got to say, you just tell Errol Spence to open his mouth first. Because he said, if I'm lying about something, I'm pretty sure Errol Spence would have came out and said something or corrected me by now. So if Errol Spence hasn't opened his mouth to correct anything that Terrence Bud Crawford has said, then what do you look like as an Errol sexual going out here and running your mouth? What you all gonna make up, another lie? Another fictitious 15 million that he supposedly turned down. But speaking of 15 million, which was a total lie and a total made up uh, fabrication, you know, just like y'all did with uh, Errol Spence when it came to his lack of response on Twitter. I know why y'all came up with that 15 million dollar lie because y'all was embarrassed. Just like y'all was embarrassed for Errol Spence to the point that you guys created a fake account in order to respond to Terrence Bud Crawford because Errol Spence wouldn't do it for you. So I know why you guys made up the lie, but you wanna know one thing that's not a lie? Let's talk about the fact that Terrence Bud Crawford was trying to get a fight made with PBC and it was pussyfooting, it was dragging their feet. They didn't wanna get the shit done. He ended up taking a low ball deal and still ended up on Stuck Street. So this is what Terrence Bud Crawford did. Terrence Bud Crawford didn't sit on the sidelines and complain and cry. Terrence Bud Crawford became proactive. So he left away from a negotiation and came back to the table with a better deal for him and Errol Spence. Okay? Now this is the question that you got to ask Errol Spence. Okay? How does a man come to you and say, hey, I got 25 million guaranteed a piece for you and me. No, no, if, ands, or maybes, it's guaranteed, okay? Let's go ahead and get this money, okay? A man come to you with 50 million that he's bringing to the table, which is a better situation for both guys, especially whatever PBC was trying to push out to Crawford and especially whatever they was trying to push out to Errol Spence. This man tells you he got $25 million for you guaranteed and you don't even return the phone call? See, it's one thing to say, hey man, I wanna be undisputed. Hey man, I wanna be seen as the best. At the end of the day, money talks. And money is the ultimate. And we are gonna find out what you really are when it comes down to money, okay? So you maybe want undisputed. You maybe wanna be considered the best. But one thing's for sure, you do want some money. 
So the question you gotta ask yourself is how does a man come to you with 25 million guaranteed and you don't even return the man's phone call? To the point he gave up hearing from you, he decided to supersede, go over you and go to the boss, the one who really in charge, and say, yo, I got this deal for me and Errol. The only thing I need you to do is to loosen up your leash on Errol Spence and allow him to maximize his talent and his potential as a boxer. That's all I need you to do, especially since you don't want to put up your own money. Hey, I got the bag already. The only thing Errol need is your permission to go and get this money. Now, are you going to let him do it? And what did Al Heyman tell Terrence Bud Crawford? I'm not letting nobody touch that fight. Oh, but I thought it was because he was across the street. I thought it was because he was signed to Bob Arrow. I thought it was because he ain't fought nobody. I thought it was because you guys didn't like his belt. I thought it was because Terrence Crawford need to humble himself. I thought it was because Terrence Crawford need to accept whatever they give him. Then when he accepts whatever they give him, the fight still don't get made. But you guys is ready to point fingers. You ready to bring up lies about a 15 million that never existed. But since y'all was tripping over 15 million and that was fake, what do you gonna say about this 25 million that is actually real that Errol Spence couldn't even pick up the phone to return a phone call about? So in other words, this dude just left $15 million hanging on the phone line? You just left Terrence Bud Crawford on hold and never got back with him? So if y'all tripping over 15 million, let me see y'all act a stone cold fool over 25 guaranteed. Let me see y'all do it. We not gonna see Arrow fans do that. Cause it's never been about none of this stuff that they pretended it, it, it was about. Okay? See, I figured out this boxing game is about cheerleading with y'all. It ain't about the best fighting the best or even trying to figure out who the best is. You want to be able to cheerlead for who you like and that's how boxing fans work at the end of the day. 80% of y'all work like that. But it's still something to say about a person who can't return a phone call on 25 million. Do a video about that. Everybody that had a Terrence Bud Crawford ducking video, we're gonna see how thorough and how unbiased they is. Because if they had the nerve to come out and tell you this dude is ducking, but they ain't came out with no video addressing why Terrence, why uh, Errol Spence turned down 25 million or didn't even return a phone call on 25 million, then that tell you the type of content creator you're dealing with, now don't it? Now don't it? To add on top of that, Terrence Bud Crawford further embarrassed this man by he was like look half this shit Errol talking about he don't know because he's sitting back twiddling his thumbs allowing Al Heyman to do everything for him I'm hands on I'm in the meetings that Errol Spence don't show up to okay I'm more privy to information about this fight than Errol Spence is I'm not depending on nobody I'm depending on myself to find out what's going on and he ultimately revealed what people have been saying all along. And what Errol Spence has been lying about. Errol Spence, you're not your own boss. You're nowhere close to even being your own boss. You're more an employee or a slave than the average person. Because even the average person under any kind of contract got more leeway and say so what they sell than you fighters over at PBC, it seems. But one thing's for sure, everything Errol Spence can do, he has to check with Al Heyman first. That's the difference between Terrence Bud Crawford and Errol Spence. So when it comes to a situation that's hard to understand, you wonder up who's holding, who's holding what up, I'm more likely not going to listen to the person who got a ball and chain on that ankle. I'm going to listen to the free agent. I'm going to listen to the free man over somebody like him. I'm just saying, 
And at the end of the day, he left y'all in a position which y'all can't defend. Now everybody out here quiet like a church mouse.